Hello, family, friends, and fans. I'm Fletcher Roden, and this is Fletch Me Anytime. Sort of a random kind of a blast-out show to my peeps to let them know what's happening, check in on all the various things that I've got coming and going throughout the year. Um, let's see. Let's get right to it. Turns out Boondoggle is being re-released. It's not passively being re-released. I'm re-releasing it. it uh, this was a big thing for me in around 2016. It was a return to serious songwriting and recording, which I'd been very frivolous about for years before that. It's uh, It was a 60-minute CD and a 100-minute 100, 100 download. And the CD is no longer extant because I don't put out CDs anymore. I only put out download uh, albums. So the full 100-minute download of Boondoggle has been remixed and remastered, and it's it's coming out uh, to all of the download sites where you like to download your favorite music. You can download mine. Um, now, how did this happen all of a sudden? Well, I wasn't really planning on releasing anything or re-releasing anything. I just, I, had, I started the year with Quadrilogy, a four record set, which I'd recorded the month before in December of the year before, last year. And uh, I mean, it was four records worth of original material. Well, I played all the parts and did everything. And uh, it's even, I even did, I think, like closer to six discs of Quadrilogy, but two got cut because they weren't good enough. So anyway, I did that and I thought that was pretty much enough. Uh, I have a new record slated for uh, July 1st of 2025 called I'm Possible. That's already in the can, as they say. So um, I figured that was going to do it. Then I stumbled upon some screenplays on a hard drive and decided they might make a pretty cute book. So I adapted my screenplays to novel form. They usually do it the other way around. Uh, and that came out as Dr. Mom and other works of short fiction. So that's pretty cute stuff. Sandra Bullock, if you're out there, I've got the mom-com for you. If you guys don't know what a mom-com is, it's a, it's a rom-com or a romantic comedy wherein the woman is of a certain age and the story sort of reflects that and the concerns that go along with it. Okay. How Sandra Bullock got her groove back in Salinas. Anyway, uh, so that book came out and that was going to be it for me for the rest of the year until January 1st of 25 when I'm possible drops. But I noticed that one of my, you know, DistroKid is my digital distribution outlet and they send me reports every day. You can read a report of, they don't send it to me. It's on the, it's not on the website. And, uh, and you can check out, you know, what your, how your sales are, what songs are downloading, what countries they're downloading to, and what the numbers are. And from out of nowhere, this, this B-side from Boondoggle um, called, I think they call it Love, it got tons of hits in a month. I don't know how. Some one person must have stumbled onto it. Because, I mean, there'd be like 125 hits one day. Like 86 hits the next day. And, and they'd be from all over the world. Japan. Germany. Uh, uh, you know, just all over the place. America. Canada. I, I can't explain it. And I don't know who this person is who, who uh, started this little fire, but cool. However, listening to the thing, I realized, and I was reminded, that Boondoggle needed a, 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 a remix and a, re and a master. It had never been properly mastered, and, and it needed a remix. So, just like I found Dr. Mom as a screenplay and a bunch of other screenplays that I turned into novels, or rather, one's a novel, one's a novella, one's a novelette, and one is just published as a 10-minute stage play. Anyway, uh... I just, you know, I happened to find the Boondoggle Masters. Not, not the mixed masters, but the unmixed original files. They were recorded on GarageBand. Um, my last records and my upcoming records are, were all on Pro Tools. But for a long time, I was just using GarageBand. So I had that, and I found the GarageBand Masters on a hard drive. So I thought, well, I always kind of wanted to remix it. And now that people are listening to it, it took you eight years. So I figured, all right, well, now's the time. I've got a little period. I've got a little block of time when I can do it. I've got the equipment here. Um, and so I did it. You know, the, it's been remixed. 
cleaned up, too many parts. It's a really dense musical thing. It's really dense. I've decided what the heck. I'm not going to pull out any. I'm going to I'm going to pull out all the stops. So there were lots of things, many too many things, and you know the instruments need to be separated. Uh, it just needed to be remixed, and then it needed to be properly mastered. I use Audacity for my uh, compression and my mastering. So I basically did that. Spent a couple days remixing, remastering, and the record's done. It's 100 minutes. The download will have all the songs in basically their original sequence. The first 60 minutes is the album proper, and the next 20 are outtakes, but they're good. Uh, they're really good. If it wasn't good enough, I wouldn't put it out. If there's nothing on that record that eight years later, I wouldn't still put out. So that's not bad. Now, one little thing is that I am kind of cheating. It ain't, it ain't no 10 years between 2016 and 2024. Um, I think you all beat me to the punch on that, uh, unless I didn't announce that it was a 10-year anniversary release, which is what it is. But I'm just cheating on that. What difference does it make? It's close to 10 years, and now is when they're listening. So now is when I want them to hear it. And now is when I have the tracks. And now is when I have the time. And honestly, who knows what's going to be happening in two years. Um, these computers may all be destroyed, and I may have lost the tracks by then. You don't know. Neither do I. So I did it anyway. It's the uh, Boondoggle 10th Anniversary Edition. It comes out on September 1st. It'll be... Uh, it'll first be on YouTube, I believe, then it'll be Amazon Prime, and in no particular order, the big ones, Spotify, um, uh, iTunes, you know, wherever you like to download your favorite music, you can download mine, and you'll be able to download this one. It'll slowly start to stretch across the uh, download platforms, then I'm going to cut the original Boondog. So you'll have a little window to sort of compare the two uh, before I yank the old one. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can listen to it for free on YouTube uh, in its sequence or poke around. You can listen to this song. I think they call it Love. Uh, it's not a bad song, really. Uh, I'm surprised that's the song that got all those downloads. But hey, you know, good, great. Um, let's see. That's it. September 1st. Check it out. Uh, uh, you can buy it as a download. It's going to be cheap, you know, whatever, $9.99 or something for 100 minutes worth of music. And if you, like, if you like me and my music, you might know this record and you might think, oh, that's something I want to hear remixed. Because a lot of people did say very, very flattering things about it. I was pretty, pretty pleased. It was so flattering that it kept me going for years. You know, Houndstooth came after that, and then Night Season, which included material leading up to Boondoggle. And then just I just kept going and going with the material that is now available as Trilogy, uh, that was originally released as three albums, which I remixed into Trilogy. So there's a lot out, and now Boondoggle, the 10th Anniversary Edition, joins the rest. So check it out, won't you? Also, I want to remind you that I've got a show that runs every week uh, on this very YouTube channel, but a different playlist. It's called Quotes and Quips, where I, I, I uh, examine a famous quote from virtually any time in history, and I discuss its, you know, meaning and ramifications for the modern era. Cool, right? <laughs> Last year, I had a show called Tracking the Lone Wolf on another YouTube channel with my name on it. And uh, next year, I'm going to alternate quotes and quips with a show called Fletcher Roden's Pet Peeves. So that's all done. Those are all in the can, scheduled, ready to go. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, won't you? And check out Boondoggle, the 10th anniversary edition. There's also Quadrilogy, and coming up, I'm Possible uh, releases on January 1st. That's nine songs, very, very nice, uh, very handsome record, very handsome pop record. You might also enjoy uh, The Wendy Theory, which was another handsome piece of pop craft from me, came out a couple years ago, and The Sexiest Guy in the World Goes Electric, which is... <laughs> all of my, not all, but many of my novelty songs, comedy music songs with full band arrangements and, you know, mastered on Audacity. And, uh, geez, that's, I get a lot of hits for the song A Pretty Girl's Vagina. But nothing like I got for I Think They Call It Love. 
Hmm, maybe those songs have something in common. Mm, don't know. Anyway, thanks for uh, spending a little time with me today, and uh, I hope you check these things out, and stay tuned, and thanks for watching and for listening, and until next time. Bye, Mary.